We're here tonight at Oceanside Museum of Art for our Artists at Work program with artist Ellen Saul. Artists at Work is a wonderful program for the community because it provides an in-depth look at select exhibitions on view at the museum and giving visitors the opportunity to experience the creative process. We have Ellen Saul guiding people on an intuitive kind of mark making experimental process. So we have uh, quite a few people here tonight that are designing their own marks and then putting them on this participatory uh, wall mural project that will create a, a one singular piece. What are museums known for? It's their exhibitions, but what do the audience and the patrons of the arts absolutely love is to get to meet the artist and understand what's going on with their medium and how do they work and what are their techniques and what's that process. You know, a lot of times the finished product up on the walls of a museum is phenomenal, but getting that behind the scenes understanding of how an artist processes themselves to a completed beautiful work of art like Ellen Salk as we're celebrating tonight is a uh, rare opportunity for the public to have. Every one of these artists at work is a different kind of experience and that's one of the fun things I think about this program in addition to getting the feeling of hands-on art making where the actual making of art is going on in front of an audience. How often do you have that experience uh, to see artists of this caliber and quality doing art and engaging them in a more informal setting? This is an engaging get out of your seats and get into the spirit of making art. So what I'm hoping we'll do is I'd love you to use both marking and when you think about marks, marks are, um, you know, anything can be a mark. I mean, I, when I was trying to think of how I could show you marks, marks, mark making is infinite. I mean, think of any written language, any calligraphic, any graphic thing, any, you know, I mean, marks, there's just enormous variation in marks and marks can change in terms of light to dark, thickness to thinness, energy. They're just all of these different qualities of it. So what I'm hoping you'll do, and I'll, I'll talk about these examples here, is each of you will take like a square on the grid and you'll develop something which employs both repetition and some form of mark making. And then what I'm hoping that we'll do is that it's going to be communal enough that at a certain point we can reflect and we might even be comfortable having somebody come in and mark on what you've done. Since I'm a painter and my process is very solitary, I was thinking that it would be very hard for me to do something that would feel authentic in terms of my painting with a group of people and I was trying to think of a way to um, introduce them to some of the processes that I use and the elements that I work with, the things I think about. And together we were brainstorming and came up with the idea that it might be fun to do a community mural. I use graphite, I use markers, I use oil stick, and I use paint. And a lot of the paintings in the exhibition actually have as an undersurface um, a lot of line drawing that's done either with marker or with graphite. So I do use those materials. And I purposely restricted the color. I just thought I wanted to think of some things that would um, you know, allow there to be some cohesiveness with the mural, and so I consciously restricted color. Um, there's only a little bit of color. Most, mostly people are going to work in um, degrees of grays and black and white. Yeah, I think there was a point I've always loved the physicality, the energy, the motion of marking. It's always been a part of my work, but um, Recently, I've sort of I, I had been doing paintings that were much more complex, and I began to sort of focus down on, on more simple marks. But there are so many artists that I love that um, that use line and the energy of line. And if you go back to the early great American painters like Jackson Pollock, you know, it's sort of right there the energy of line, and you can carry it, you know, through till today. I am very impressed. I love the movement that I'm seeing, and it's lyrical, it's beautiful. And when I see this, like especially this middle one and the one to the left of it, it's as if I hear the music she's listening to as she's creating and letting it flow. 
because she also even talked about downstairs, they're, they seem very layered, there's a lot of depth, mm -hmm. even though in a flat surface. And also I related to the ones that had probably the least amount of color in them. There was something about that discovery of the white on white and seeing that there was more in there with the layering. Um, I also kind of, I think for me, I liked the smaller images better because I was able to move in and see the marks close up. And I felt like on the bigger paintings, once I got in, I lost sight of the whole thing. Oftentimes you don't get to see how an artist comes up with their work of art from the beginning to the end. You just see it in the museum. So what this program does is it allows you to participate and interact with the artists and see how they develop their work from concept to completion. 